Hey everyone, welcome back to Financial Futures. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Today, we have some crucial updates on the economic landscape that you won't want to miss. But before we start, do me a quick favor and smash that like button below. It really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful content. Now let's jump right into it. Today, we're diving deep into a crucial topic for seniors, protecting your hard-earned retirement savings. Many seniors dream of retiring early, but doing so without adequate savings can be detrimental. According to recent data, the average retirement savings for all families is around $334,000. However, this number varies significantly by age group. For those aiming to retire at 65 and maintain a $50,000 annual lifestyle, a savings of $500,000 to $600,000 is recommended. It's essential to consider the impact of taking Social Security benefits early, as it can significantly reduce your overall benefits. Debt in retirement can be a significant burden, with the average retiree carrying around $70,000 in debt. To manage debt effectively, consider following the 28-36 rule. This means your housing expenses should not exceed 28% of your income, and your total debt payments should not exceed 36%. Overspending in retirement is common, with the average retiree spending $52,115 annually. Following the 70% rule, where expenses should not exceed 70% of post-tax income, can help manage spending. Proper asset allocation is key to protecting retirement savings. Consider allocating your assets into three buckets, liquid, income, and growth. The income bucket should provide guaranteed income to cover essential expenses, while the growth bucket can take on some risk for long-term growth potential. Protecting your retirement savings requires careful planning and smart decision-making. By retiring at the right time, managing debt and spending, and allocating your assets properly, you can secure a comfortable retirement. If you found this information valuable, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more financial tips and insights. Our next update is about the Affordable Connectivity Program, ACP which has been providing heavily discounted or free internet to about 23 million households. Initially, it was expected to run out of funds by the end of April. However, there's been a change. The program has received just enough funding to extend its coverage through the month of May. This is great news, but there are some changes to be aware of. Previously, the ACP offered up to $30 off internet bills. In May, this will be reduced to $14, which is less than 50% of the previous benefit. For households on tribal lands, the benefit will be reduced from $75 to $35. If you're currently receiving benefits from the ACP, you do not need to reapply. In fact, the program stopped accepting new applications back in February. The extension only applies to current recipients and there won't be any new applicants accepted. While this extension is good news for May, I wouldn't count on further extensions. The program is already reducing benefits significantly, and it's unlikely to have enough funding for June. However, some internet service providers may still offer $30 discounts, covering the difference themselves. In conclusion, while the extension of the ACP is positive news, it's not a long-term solution. It's important to stay informed and explore other options for affordable internet access. I'll continue to keep you updated on any developments regarding the ACP or other programs that may benefit low-income individuals. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found this information helpful, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with others who may benefit from this news. Remember. Even small savings can make a big difference, so stay informed and take advantage of any assistance programs available to you. 
Check out our other videos for more financial tips and updates. Until next time, take care and stay safe.